Hey, 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 guys. A little bit of what I just received. How awesome is that? It's my own personal kit to build a portable gaming system. That's gonna be cool. Uh, there is some paper in there uh, about how to build it. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And there is uh, some stickers uh, to personalize your gaming system. I think it's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna set up the camera to be able to give you a good angle. I'm gonna sit down and build that thing. All right, I am set up and now uh, let's uh, follow the guy to see what we have to do. We have also this plastic thingy here. No idea yet what it is. That's that's very exciting. Step one. And do a step one. Ooh, okay, something like that. Screen. Let's put stick on the side. Number one, screen, and I guess this is that guy. I don't see no number on that. That's A. So yeah, that's this one is B. This one is a bit odd because the plastic is very clear. So any mistake you do in here, that's going to be visible. Okay, so let's take the hardware now. It's M2, which I think is this one, the screen. Flush. Need to remove that protection, and so now I can set uh, the easiest. And here we are. We have the screen case. That's cute. And it's on inver. It's a very nice kit. That's really nice. So screen is done, number one. Now the main board, so we have A1. So let's repeat more or less what we just did. I think from all the kits I ever had, that's probably the most exciting one. Oh, and a small word about uh, the company doing that. Uh, it's called uh, Clockwork. That's the shot. And I got that from their Kickstarter page. 
which means that Kickstarter is already over, but um, they, they're probably going to put that on sale very soon. And if I can grab the link before I release this video, I will put it in the description. So you too, you can have your own looting kit. Look at that. That's the main ball. Cute, right? So let's put that in place. Oh, there is a SD card and goes with it. Uh, they also deliver an SD card. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's put that in place. And here we have our module. Look at that. It's very cool to have these little boxes for each module. I like it. Main board done. The next is the keypad. From the keypad, we need B2 and, of course, A2. So the higher part, the cap crystal uh, plastic, Rose me a little bit when I have to cut it because it's uh, it's very hard plastic. So I was a little bit afraid that it's just gonna crack when I cut it. The other plastic is a bit more soft, so it's not a problem. This one is it's really hard and it cracks in the wrong place. It just came over. I'm gonna need that, that is KP and what they call M3 I believe is the controller itself so let's take a look this goes upside down and this is gonna go on top to press the little contacts. That's very old school kind of uh, buttons system. Like I remember back in the days, I have a Game & Watch games and one of the buttons, since it's plastic, because of playing too much, it just cracked. Not that fun when it happens. Uh, so I put the M3, I put the KP, and I close the case, yes. Ooh, that's going to be a little bit challenging to close it, because the button is sticking out, and I'm going to push them down. So I put, push them in place. Done. that yeah I really like this kind of yeah this idea of models and I'm wondering how it's gonna fit after in a full uh, in a full case but from there apparently I'm supposed to take this and put it in place already so the key one and key two and the button we are labeled a b x y of course Let's try to put them in the right place. All right, so keypad is done. There's two extra pieces in there. It's probably uh, to close the, the console system itself. Looks like some locks. Then the battery module. So I guess the battery is Bad boy. What we need? That's the controller, right? And I believe it is this little piece. Oh, in place. That's the um. And 
set. I still have some extra hardware in there. This thing. This piece. But I'm not done yet, so we'll see where it goes. So next step was step of five. The speakers. That's that's the one. So the design of this uh, console system looks, of course, very close to uh, Game Boy. Uh, and I don't think it's a mistake or an attempt to copy it. It just it was a good system after all. Uh, that's why it was so popular. And uh, it's, uh, it brings some nostalgia. And I think that's cool. So the little thing I have here is just on the speakers. If I can open it. There we go. Let's put it in place. Boom. All right. And for the modules, it's done. We have a screen here. And the main board here. The keypad here. And we need to connect with those guys. All right, the screen is on. I ended up opening the case to be able to plug it directly. Uh, that was really uh, finicky. Uh, let's plug. Do we have different lengths? We do. And we have different cable as well. So that shouldn't be easy to mistake one for another. Right. Let's If you put it upside down, it doesn't work. Whose fault is that? That is down. And this one, it's a bit short. Okay, the key pad is on. The next that needs under the key pad goes. So to the main board, we have a very short cable. Aha! It's on. It's turning on. I don't know if you can see it. The the interface so far is very interesting. Music player. Of course, there is no music yet. Alright, so how do I turn it up again? Like settings. Power up. Confirm. Yes. See you. And there was some battery already in there. Uh, so let's put everything inside now. The sound is going to go to the bottom. So. so there's some slots in case to guide you to put the modules in. So it's not that difficult. I could have put it before, in fact. I just wanted to make sure everything was working. <clears throat> Let's not pinch the cables. I think the sun just live on top. It's like that. Let's try to make sure the cables goes down there. And I 
think they gave us some plastic thingy eggs. Yeah, to push. I don't know if it's to push the wire down or if it's to make it more stable. All right. So all we have to do now is to put the lead clips on the bottom. On the top, we have the things I told you about. So that's what it looks like from the back. Transparent. So you can see the, the circuits, that's cute. And that's more or less finished. Yes. So there was some uh, other modules that I didn't get. If you can see there, uh, so the light key part, Look at that. I don't see myself the screen. And that's it. That's the interface. Pretty neat, right? So if you go like to the settings, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to try to put some games in there and uh, maybe some music to test it out. And I'm um, going to come back to you. Hey guys, uh, I'm back, and uh, while I was playing a bit with the with the system, I realized that there was more, way more money than I thought. And the last entry is called Pre Doom, so I didn't have to put any games in there. There was already one, and as you can hear, the the sun is working. Look at that. Uh, let's try a new again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the back of the camera. What I like is, um, it's the color is really nice. Is that an elevator? No. Color are very nice. The sun is good. I mean, for what it is. And um, yeah, maybe that's it. Um, maybe that's the end of the demo, no? <laughs> There's nothing in there. That was great. I uh, really like the... The kit, uh, it was fun to build and it's fun to play. So thank you for Clockwork. Uh, that was a nice Kickstarter. It's a very nice build. Uh, I really like the ID. Uh, if they build like upgrades or different modules, I think that would be very interesting. That means you can just like open up and just replace the module, uh, like update the screen or update maybe the, the main board. That could be very, very interesting. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, so kudos to Clockwork. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please give a like if you did. See you next time. And stay connected. Bye-bye.